Hi guys, I'm here in Bowser, Arizona. Just look at some of these tanks here. This site was very important because Bowser, Arizona, apparently, was a site of the testing of, of the tanks. And this is uh, called Camp Bows. Uh, it's a roadside attraction in memory of the tank battalions that were based here during World War II. This site was used for training soldiers back then. Look at how these things are huge. These things are pretty huge. Wow. This is interesting. So we're just gonna go around and look at it. So this is called the M100. How it's self-propelled. Awesome. So in this little town called Bounds, Arizona. And this is the main road. That's how it looks like. Bows Museum, next right. Yep, and it's Think Museums. And I just stopped here at Bows because there's a cool roadside attraction here. Look at that. Awesome. This is awesome. This is a roadside attraction, but it's important because uh, this city of Bows was renowned back then in the during World War II was where the tanks used, tanks used to be tested here. So they have a lot of uh, memorials here for the tank battalions. All of this. Right. That's how it is. It's a little old town. This donkey that was drinking beer with the soldiers back during World War II, and uh, the donkey would drink beer with the soldiers. So it was like a buddy. So it's giving them a morale. It was a morale booster. Uh, so this donkey was also fond of eating the nurses underwears so apparently the soldiers one of the soldiers shot the donkey and he's buried here in Bowser, Arizona so the donkey was shot dead and there's a monument for him so this is eight ball so this was the donkey that was eating the nurses underwear and was shot by one of the colonel, colonel. so this donkey was eating beer was drinking beer with the soldiers so it was more of like a drinking buddy and he was helping with the morale so this is the eight ball here so the eight ball was a donkey in world war ii army camp who would drink beer from a helmet an officer shot him after he was found eating the underwear of several nurses well and this is in memory of eight ball morale officer campbell he was our drinking buddy while on duty he drank our beer he was full of good cheer and went to the nurses' quarters around the bend and came to an untimely end of the colonel. He was unaware that it would be the crime of all time if he ate the nurses' underwear and was slain by the jailer's rival. Rest in peace. But this is how Bows looks like. It's, a, it's kind of a run-down town. And if we go here, we're going to see some of the tanks. Uh, Wow. So if you see here. This is pretty cool. So the British this is a town where they tested some of the some of the tanks here. They came out here and tested them. But this side looks like the 740th tank battalion was out here. With honor, pride, dignity, they committed to the excellence and challenge and went the extra mile. So this is how it looks like. So the flag is here. So that's the flag of the United States. And the tank battalions were here. Uh, so this is the 526th Air Battalion. And I'm just gonna see some of the things that they had here. 
the campus. So this is more of a military monument, but it's also a roadside attraction because um, it's uh, out here in Bowes, Arizona. So you're just gonna see some of uh, this little town is all deserted. It's a Sunday afternoon, but they have several monuments of you know the the tanks. Uh, so this is the 739th Tank Battalion. Um, they did some tours in the Rhineland and Central Europe. Um, and this is a 738th Medium Tank Battalion Special, World War II, 1943 to 1945. Wow. I see another one here. So this is a 526th Armored Infantry Battalion in World War II. And this is in honor of the memory of the, those soldiers of the battalion who trained here at Camp Bowes and gave their lives in combat to preserve the freedom of the United States and set the people of Europe free. So this is the 748th Battalion. So these are some of the equipment that they had here. And I'm gonna do this. General George Patton established Camp Bowes in 1943 in the Battle Valley as the site for training of 5,500 carefully screened and qualified volunteers. These soldiers were trained to use a highly secret weapon called the Canal Defense Light, dubbed the Gizmo by the soldiers who operated here. The CDL was a 13 million candle power searchlight mounted on specialized tanks for the purpose of illuminating the area at night to dazzle the enemy with its flickering light. Troop trains brought the highly aimed, highly trained soldiers and the equipment from Fort Knox under heavy guard on October 14, 1943. So, we're gonna attack here. So, so one of the American military uh, general, George Patton, was one of the soldiers that, that, so this is an M60 tank, Patton tank donated to Bowers Chamber of Commerce. Ah, oh, look at that. I think people climb on top of it. So we're just leaving Bowers, Arizona. It's 3.30. We have, oh, there's a fly. Let's see inside here. This, this little town looks like it's... Like it's wood. Huh? Like it's wood. Run down. 